Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand and welcome to my Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now, this is episode 4, if I'm correct, uh, on the top end rebuild on Ben's Yamaha TDR 250, the 1988 vintage tenacious 250cc parallel two-stroke with YPVS. Now, uh, on the previous video, we uh, fitted the two barrels onto the crankcase, got them over the pistons, eventually over those nasty swivelly round rings, keeping them in line with the dowels, got those on, torqued them down, that's all done. Now, the next step is to fit the cylinder head. And this is an original Yamaha cylinder head, although there are some aftermarket ones out there as well, I believe. Uh, this one, we've had skimmed, look at shiny. Nice shiny top, okay, and obviously we've got a, a nice new cylinder head gasket. What we also did to the cylinder head because um, these bikes don't like to commute; they tend to oil up plugs and stuff when that happens. They were built to go fast, but unfortunately the police keep stopping us doing that. What we've done is we've fitted some time insert uh, inserts into the spark plug holes because. Unfortunately, Ben went through a period of time where he was riding the bike like a Nancy. <laughs> you can hear me, look. There he is. Through the traffic. And he was complaining that there was something wrong with the bike. And I told him he has to ride it like it was designed to be ridden. It's a two-stroke. You've got to go on the... You've got to go on the stop. Doesn't matter how far you're riding, you ride on the stop. And if the front wheel comes up, then so be it. Have fun. But no, seriously, he had to take the spark plugs out a number of times and it didn't do the spark plug threads any good. So we thought, well, we've got the head off and we're going to get it skimmed. We're going to pay them some extra inheritance money and we'll have them fit some nice posh time certs in there, which is a really good idea if you're going to reuse the head. So, without further ado, because this is only going to be a short video, a nice little bite-sized chunk, let's head over to the bike and get this cylinder head fitted and torqued down. Here we go. Just before we fit the head, we've got to fit this power valve sort of link plate that goes in there look like that and that's what transfers the drive from the left power valve to the right power valve and I would suggest probably a little bit of thread lock on these on these little bolts One little bolt, you can do it. There we go. Right, we'll get that one most of the way down. And then we'll fit the second one. Okay. Right, without dropping this down the cylinder, which probably wouldn't go down too well in the world of Ben. There we go. <laughs> Always think professional, regardless of your actions. Isn't that right, Ben? Jeez, mm -hmm. that's a bit tight. <clears throat> it's got a bit of slacks on. Mm. Oh, it doesn't reach. Tell you what. We'll open the power valves a bit. <laughs> See if we can get that on there. Now, if this has still got slack once it's tightened up. We're going to have to get a new one. 
because it'll make one of the power valves, it'll make the right hand power valve lazy. And that will be bad. There we go. Okay. So, is there any slack or slob? So just showing you that power valve operation, you can see up on the right hand cylinder that's the power valve fully open with the exhaust port raised and then as the engine revs drop the power valve rotates clockwise and it closes and it lowers the exhaust port effectively and that gives you more torque at lower RPM and then when you rev up again the, power valve, the stepper motor opens the power valve again and it's fun time <laughs> There you go. New power valves. Ooh. Okay, Mr. Head Gasket. In she goes. Now, if you buy the genuine Yamaha one, which this one isn't, you will uh, have a little tab at the front that will say head, and that the lettering should be to the top. This, however, is an aftermarket one, which doesn't have that marking on it. Unfortunately. Right Ben, so thermostat to the back, yeah? Yeah. Are you really sure about that? Yep. How the hell do we get this in here? There we go. Look at that. Bloody professional, you ask me. Okay, right, so you should have a batch of copper washers, and they need to be put on number one. These are all numbered in the casting, which is nice. Number four, number nine, which is over to you, camera, and number ten. And these also have the cap head nuts, not the open nuts. So we're just going to stick all those on first, so we can't mix it up and get them in the wrong place. Okay Ben, we better have the normal nuts next as well. Give me a spanner for that. Here, 12. Yeah. Oh, that was tight too. Jeez. Hopefully they won't be tight all the way down, otherwise it might affect the torque. You have my little tiny ratchet down there, look. Can you put me a 12 socket on that? Oh, that's alright. They're just tight at the start of the thread. It's okay. Now, there's also a two stage tightening sequence on these, Ben. And if you have a look in the manual, it'll tell you all about it. OK. 
Okay. Right, so the Yamaha manual tells us to tighten them up in sequence and in two stages, but it doesn't tell us what the first stage is. Now, the full torque is 22 newton meters. So we're going to order them in sequence to 15 first, and then we'll do a second tighten to 22. So we've got bolt number one labeled here. That's going to be the first one that's going to get the 15 newton meters treatment. That's 15. That's number two, isn't it, Ben? Uh, yes. Looks more like a Z, but it's definitely a two. <laughs> okay, number three is over here. And number four, just there, look. Now, number five's down here. And number six is right over here, look. And number seven. Can you see a number eight, Ben? Eight. That one down there, isn't it? This one's not all the way down, unfortunately, because it's a bit tight on the threads. Okay, eight, and number nine's over here. Thanks, Ben. Found a use for you. Ten. Is that all of them? Ten was the last one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, only ten. Cool. Right, so we'll go up to 22 now. And back on to number one, which is that one there, look. So we're at 22 newton meters now for the second torque. Hopefully, what crack the head? <laughs> Right, that's one. Two's around there. Three's just here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Excellent. Right, that's the, uh, the skimmed head all torqued down. I think all we'll do left now is just pop the spark plugs in to keep the cylinders nice and clean. So Ben, if you can go and get me the spark plugs and a bit of copper paste, that'd be great. Oh, look, a new tub of copper paste. That's pretty good. Right, so a little trick. Always put a little bit of copper paste on the threads. That's going to help you take them out. Now, obviously, that's for most motorcycles. TDR 250, these come out about every week, so no, they're not any more, they're not too bad. So pop that in there. Get the second one. Cool. Oh, it feels so much nicer with those good threads in there now. Because it was a bit mushy, wasn't it? Mm, they never really had a definite stop like that. Okay, let's see if we can get the old torquey wrench in. Let's do it from the outside, I think. There we go. A 
Okay, so 20 newton meters is the spec for the spark plugs. Now they do have crushable washers, so don't be alarmed if it takes a while for them to talk up. There we go. That's that one. Right, other side. Oh, this could take a while with the camera in the way. done so there you go that is the fourth video now in the can for the top end rebuild on Ben's Yamaha TDR 250 and during this video we've covered um, basically fitting the um, cylinder head gasket the correct way up and fitting the cylinder head putting the correct washers on the correct studs there should be four copper washers and uh, those cap head or dome nuts they go on with the ones with the washers and of course all the rest of the nuts torque down in two stages first of all to 15 newton meters which is my own uh, torque setting the manual just says in two stages it doesn't tell us what the first stage torque setting should be so 15 is what I've done it at and the second one is what's it been 28 22, 22 oh. that's right 22 newton meters is the final torque for those head nuts and then we put the spark plugs in just to make sure we didn't get any crap in there for ne until next time when we do the next step, which will be the power valve uh, setup. And uh, the spark plugs were torqued down to 20 newton meters. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully, not too long a video for you. Pretty simple task putting the solar head back on, but a very important one. We don't want the head gasket to leak, and we certainly don't want to warp the head whilst fitting it, not after we've had it just skimmed. If you've got any questions or comments, then please do add them below. And I'll do my very best to get back to you as soon as possible. If you'd like to subscribe, and it'd be great to have you on board, click the subscribe button. And also, if you want uh, to turn on notifications, just turn, uh, click on the, the little gear symbol, and you'll see down there an option to turn on notifications. And that way, you're going to get free emails as and when I upload any new videos to the channel. And there's usually two or three every single week. So you'll be one of the first to know when there's a new video up on the channel to watch if it's of interest to you okay well that pretty much brings us to the end of this video thank you very much for watching and uh, well cheers for now over and out